Hey YouTube viewers, I'm going to do a video here about using your Wii Bounce Board on the PC. So there's this really great program out there called the Wii Balance Walker, created by Grey Cube Tube. Uh, I found it over on the Oculus Rift VR forums. There's a new version out now that allows you to adjust some of the different parameters and stuff on here. You can change uh, what the inputs are for the left, right, up, down, movements and everything like that. Giving you a lot of freedom as to what you want to do with things. In this video I'm just going to show you a couple different games that I tried it out with. We've got Dead Rising 2 author record here. One of the new things added in this new version of the program is the ability to jump. So when you jump on the Wii Balance board you can <laughs> have your character jump. And the program works. So depending on how you shift your balance on the board, it uh, affects what direction your character moves in the game. So another cool thing about this version of the software is being able to have uh, different bindings attached to the different movements on the board, you can set the board down and actually use it sort of like a, a foot pedal. So I, I tried it out with uh, Crisis and a couple other games. Um, I had it mapped to pushing down on it would have me run, and, and pushing up on it would have me jump. And I guess you know if you had a racing game too, if you wanted to use it sort of as uh, pedals for the game for brakes or, or gas, you could do that with this. And I think that's also pretty darn awesome that you can have the the different abilities and different things to do with it. We got Crisis here too. Crisis messing around with it and, and Hydra again. It takes a little bit of time to adjust to it because it's certainly a different way of playing games from a lot of other things out there. I'm used to using a, a controller so moving your character around with the balance board is, is certainly different. We've also got Penumbra here. Penumbra worked pretty well with it. Again with the Razor Hydra. <laughs> At the beginning here I, I get attacked by a monster. Which uh, I was not expecting. But yeah, yeah using this and, and also with the Hydra you can tilt the left hand controller to uh, sort of tilt your character in and out of cover and stuff. And, and that's, it's, it's neat. I have to say I really like that. We've also got Psychonauts here. Psychonauts again, kind of showing off the jumping mechanic. It, it, it was difficult in Psychonauts. A new way of, of trying to play the game. So maybe with some adjustment it would, it would be a bit easier. It does require a bit more energy and a, and a bit more stamina on your part, but it, it's really fun actually. It, it's, it's neat to, to play around like that. Lastly, we've got uh, Dark Souls here. I couldn't get the my controller to work. Um, I was having issues, I think, because I also had the Hydra installed, and for whatever reason, it was giving me some problems. So I was just trying out the balance board to to do the character movement in the game. 
And it worked well. And jumping in this one uh, has you dodge. So you can see I, I jump and dodge off a cliff here and kill myself. And thank you again for Great Cube 2 for creating this awesome program. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or anything, feel free to leave them in the section below. And thanks for watching again, guys.